Hi again, it's uh, Mrs. D with Lulu Ray with Mrs. D. I promised that my Y video was going to be the first in hopefully a series of videos. So tonight, I wanted to showcase the maxi skirt. I feel like she's very underrated, and I was packing for our beach trip, and I realized everything is maxi skirts and perfect tees. So, you guys need to see the maxi skirt. So, this is a maxi. This is that new delicious material. It's modal. Modal feels a lot like silk, but it's a washable material, and it, um, it's, a, it's just a more expensive fabric that LuLaRoe passes on to us. It's amazing. So, um, traditional maxi skirt. I've had a lot of customers ask me, well, I don't like classic tees. I have a C-section pooch. Well, guess what? I have a C-section pooch, too. And this is a medium in a cotton knit. Normally, I wear a large in a cotton knit, but this medium perfect tee matched it perfectly. Look at the neon pink and the neon pink. So, I put it on. It's in inventory. You can buy it. But I wanted to show you guys how I do my side knot. So this is a perfect tee. And this maxi skirt is snug enough, is that a piece of lint? That um, it actually is kind of cute. So I should go get a belt. You could put a belt on and then look, it's a peplum effect. So it kind of poofs out and then you have your really cool tulip skirt. A lot of people say the maxi skirt is a long version of Azure. That's not true. Azure is more of an A-line. Maxi skirt is very narrow through the hips and has a tulip bottom. It's an extremely flattering skirt. So, you can wear it out with a little belt, or this is what I do. My customers always ask. I yank it really aggressively to the side, come under here, and it, I'm doing a almost a waist knot, y'all. So look, it's kind of rough on a woman when we go straight across, right? That's our widest point, but if you do an angle, it's a slimming effect. It creates the, the eye to go up, and then look how cute and slimming. You still have your little peekaboo slit. Okay, so knot it and be aggressive. You can redo it. This fabric is wonderful stuff. When you wash it, guess what? It pops right back into place. So, let's see. It's like a hip knot. And I don't like tails, so I tuck them in. Real tight. And that's what it looks like. I don't have a mirror, but you might have to play with it. See what it looks like in the back, the side, front. Again, it's covering the pooch. And then the side. It's a really flattering look. This is how I wear my maxi skirt all the time. So I'm gonna show you on this Maudie over here. This is an extra small maxi, extra small perfect tee, and that new delicious mock twist fabric that I love so much. Patrick and his minions are geniuses. All right, Miss Maud, let's cover up your nakedness. All right, so as you can see, she's got her little perfect tee on. Again, is it caught on? Okay, we're gonna do a real dramatic knot on Maude, just like I did. You can see it looks good on fluffy girls and skinny girls like Maude. And tuck the little tails in. And the thing I love about perfect tee is I can wear a medium and I can wear a large. Uh, let's face it, I can wear a 3X too. That's my swimsuit cover up along with some Monroe's for the beach. Okay. So we've got that. And it's the same effect I have and it's a slim form. So here's the trick. This is a perfect tee and you have your angle. We could do this with a classic tee. But do straight across for those of you who don't have a C-section pooch and want it to be a little bit more up on your waist for a little bit different of a look. So this is a extra, extra small classic tee. Again, mock twist. I have a thing for the mock twist fabric. Okay, so you could wear it like this, belt it. You could do a knot in the back. Okay, ruche it up, do a knot in the back. This is how almost always I model mod. She likes to wear knots on her waistline. It's just such a flattering look and it's casual. So there you go. And then you can pull it down to hide the yoga waistband. And it's just a really casual look. So this is adorable, some cute little thong sandals, or if you're like me, a pair of Toms or a pair of Chucks. And then when fall hits, this does not have to become a spring or a summer thing. Put on some little cognac booties and a joy vest in a dark color. It's fall, right? Or a Mimi. 
or a big, huge, chunky scarf. I love these clothes. So this is a classic tea look. All right. So here's something else we can do. Sorry, Mon. Our maxi can become a maxi dress. She's super cute. Now, if you're like me and you have a large chest, this may not work for you. This seam goes right across here. But my hair lady and several of my clients pull this off beautifully in the summer. And they look, it's such a fresh, clean look. I'm going to show you how to accessorize the dress maxi in just a moment. But look how cute this is. Okay. You get, hold on, I pulled her dress down. Okay. You get a peekaboo out the top of your classic tee. This would work for perfect tee as well because a perfect tee is scooped. This would not work for an Irma because an Irma is the higher neckline, but this works beautifully for classic tee and perfect tee. Again, we could knot it and look at what an adorable look that is. Now, the other thing we could do is we could get really, really aggressive with our knotting and do it all the way up here underneath the bust line. I do this with Carly a lot too, y'all. Look how adorable this is. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? I love it. So you have a really fresh outfit. You could even wear this to a bridesmaid luncheon, some strappy little sandals, some cute wedges, some espadrilles, you're, you're good to go. So the other thing is you can do this with an Irma, but you won't get the peekaboo through the top. Let me show you. Are you noticing all these toppers coordinate? Okay. So, again, we don't really see the peekaboo with this one. But again, we can knot it in the back. Okay? I know a lot of people who will wear the Irma with a maxi skirt pulled all the way down, really oversized, um, with a belt and a slouchy look with some boots in the fall, and it's a gorgeous look. I have pictures of it up in my VIP group. So again, you can do the side knot, and look how cute it is when you have the blousey dolman. It's a more relaxed look. But then, of course, we can do this again. Really aggressive. And guys, like I said, don't be afraid to pull your fabrics. They will bounce back. I've been doing it for two years, I know. Okay, so then we have that. So this one, you could add a necklace or a really bold bib necklace to it, and it would be amazing. All right. So now, I want to show you what else you can do with that. Um, will you grab that joy right there for me? Thank you. Um, it's the one with the roses on it. So we have this. I'm in love with this. It has sparkles. So this is coral and a more of a mink heathered look. So this isn't oversized. This is a medium, which all, we all know that's really oversized for an extra small. But the colors were pretty delicious, so I had to try it. And I like the oversized Lindsay because it becomes a slouchy look with a tailored form. Imagine it with a long chain necklace. But look, I have a customer who is in Italy, and she bought maxi skirts and Lindsay's because of all the different ways she could wear them. Tell me that's not adorable. It's fabulous, right? All right. Okay, so as if a Lindsay wasn't enough, and think Sarah for the winter, here's a joy. Now you're really amazing. You're kind of biker chic, right? But in a floral. I love the way it's a strapless and then you have this and it's the skirt is still longer, it's T length. Then every woman knows you have to have a jean jacket. So you have your jean jacket and you can rock it as well. It's a really great look. Then throw on your little beach hat. And I think it's a really great look. Maxi skirt is one of my very favorite things to wear because you can do traditional side knot, put shirts on over it, make it a dress. I hope you guys try a maxi skirt. They're wonderful. Have a good night.